politics, entertainment stories, current affairs, and exclusive interviews. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome on The Buzz UG with, with Melanz Mino, Mino, a.k.a. Fula. The Minister of State for Karamoja Affairs, Horrible Agnes Nandutu, has finally handed herself over to police investigating the Karamoja Iron Sheet scandal. <laughs> Nandutu, according to verifiable reports, is currently detained at the Criminal Investigations Directorate CID in Chibuli, where she's facing charges of snubbing police summons before being arraigned in court over the Iron Sheet scandal. <laughs> Now, the Bududa woman member of parliament becomes the third minister to be charged in the widening scandal. Uh, she follows ministers Amos Lugolobi and her boss, uh, that is a Dr. Mary Goretti Chitutu, who have since been charged before the anti-corruption court in Kololo over the mismanagement of the Karamoja iron sheets. Now, while addressing the press yesterday, uh, the spokesperson of uh, Uganda police, Mr. Fred Nanga, told journalists that horrible Agnes Nandutu had not responded to the summons issued to her last week and uh, she risked being arrested. Yes, yeah, so basically that is the latest update coming in from horrible Agnes Nandutu's camp. And of course, we all know that there are still other big government officials like the Prime Minister of Uganda, Right Honorable Robina Nabanja, uh, the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Mong, and also the Vice President of Uganda, Her Excellency Jessica Alupo. Yes, yeah, so you could hear that any of these has been arrested. Yes, yeah, so in case of anything, I'll be keeping you posted right here on The Buzz UG. <laughs> Now, the government of Uganda is to pay Uganda shillings 45 million to have the body of the late office of the Prime Minister Permanent Secretary Keith Muhakanizi brought back into the country. Now, sources have revealed that uh, the money includes costs of uh, the funeral home, insurance, transport, and other costs. We should have paid this money on the weekend, but we were informed that people in Milan do not work on weekends. And uh, this explains why there has been a delay in uh, returning the body. Well, that is a statement coming in from uh, the source. And uh, when this source was questioned about the hospital bills, uh, they said all the hospital bills had been cleared by the time of his death. Now, Muhakanizi died last Thursday at around 9 p.m. at a hospital in Milan, that is in Italy, where he had been flown for treatment accompanied by his wife, uh, that is uh, Janet Muhakanizi. Uh, when his condition deteriorated, uh, family sources said he was joined by his eldest daughter and brother. According to Haj Yunus Kakande, the permanent secretary office of the president, Muhakanizi's body will be flown back to Uganda tentatively on Wednesday or Thursday this week aboard Ethiopian Airlines. Now, Muhakanizi will be accorded an official state funeral as part of his distinguished contribution towards the development of the country. Now, the funeral service will be held at Kololo Ceremonial Grounds and the body will later be flown to his home village in Liantonde where he will be laid to rest. Now, third out of seven children, Muhakanizi was born November 24, 1957 in Rukunjiri district that is in western Uganda to the late Reverend Kosio Kajuenche and Muchala Kajuenche. Muhakanizi spent almost his entire work life at the Ministry of Finance where he served as an economist in 1982 and rose through the ranks to become the permanent secretary and a secretary to treasure, uh, a position he held until July 2021 when he was transferred to the office of the prime minister where he has been permanent secretary to date. May his soul rest in peace. Make sure that you subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Amela Zmilo aka Fula and it's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.